here at Lake Morton Community Church, we believe very much in the authority and the sufficiency of Scripture. And what that means is we believe that God has given us everything necessary for life and godliness in his written revelation of himself to us in the Bible. And what that means is that there's, there's no secret key that's out there that you're going to get only by reading this other Christian author. Uh, there's no key to the Christian life or, or a secret that's, that's hidden from us in Scripture that you're going to get by, by going and seeking that out somewhere else. And so it, it leads to the question, if, if God's Word is fully sufficient for life and for godliness, for us to know Him and live in relationship with Him, then uh, why do we need other Christian books? Uh, as you can tell behind me, I, I have a, a good number of books. I believe very much in the value of reading uh, good, solid Christian books. And so we have to wrestle with what's the role of those books if we believe in the sufficiency of Scripture. And here's, here's where I believe other books come into play. Uh, books are valuable to us because it allows us to learn from other saints who have walked with Christ, who have studied his word. So one of the things that the Bible itself teaches us is that we are to exhort one another, we're to admonish one another, we're to gain wisdom from those who've gone before us. Uh, we are to learn in community as believers. And so that community uh, is both horizontal, the community around us, there are people today writing good books, uh, and it stretches back throughout history. There are saints throughout the history of the church who have made valuable contributions in terms of their insights into God's Word that can help us as we engage with God's Word. I would argue they're not adding something new as much as they are opening up to us what is already here on the pages of Scripture. And maybe because of their uh, greater insight or wisdom, they're able to help illuminate things for us uh, that, that become very valuable to us. And so what we mean when we, when we proclaim sola scriptura, what we are saying by that is not the Bible is the only book you should ever read. What we mean by that is that the Bible has final authority in our lives. That there is no other book that we can hold over the Bible and say, well, that book adds something that the Bible didn't give us. Or that book actually is the, the final authority we're going to rest on where that author's thoughts are the final authority. No, every book, every and, and there, most books are valuable to some extent and are going to have some things that maybe are not as useful. And so everything we read needs to be under the final authority of God's Word, the Bible. But that doesn't mean that those other books are not valuable. I've gained such incredible insights from reading other saints, both past and present. And so one of the things that uh, I'm going to do in this next series of Ask Pastor Brian videos is highlight some books that I have found valuable. And so the uh, assumed first answer with all of these videos is, is that the first most valuable book is the Bible itself. Um, but uh, so I don't have to repeat that. I want to state that in this video that that is assumed, that is foundational for me. Uh, it, we, we shouldn't be running to other books if we're not spending time in God's Word. Uh, we should be immersing our hearts and minds in Scripture every day. Um, but alongside of Scripture, God can use other godly saints and their writings to help encourage us and strengthen us. Uh, there's a sense in which reading a book allows you to, uh, in a sense, enter into the thought process um, and share in the wisdom of another person, another believer. Uh, so I, what I want to do is take some time in these uh, next videos to highlight some books that have been valuable to me. I'm going to start with a, a video on books on the Christian life that have been valuable, uh, and then kind of go from there, working through issues like prayer, uh, basic doctrine. Um, I forget some of the other things that I, that I mentioned I wanted to highlight books on. I think biographies that have been meaningful to me, uh, but there'll be several where I just highlight maybe three or four books that have been really valuable to me in that particular area. I hope it's valuable to you. Uh, I hope that you find some encouragement in it. Uh, please know that I, I believe that um, my books are always, I always want my books to be read. So if it's a book that I'm not using at the moment, I, I am more than happy for you to come and, and uh, borrow that and read it um, and uh, glean everything from it you can. So uh, books are resources that are to be shared and enjoyed together. And 
uh, enjoyed in conversation with one another as well. I love to talk about the things that I'm reading. I love to hear from other saints the things that they're learning as they are reading and engaging with those authors as well. So um, keep looking for those videos and I uh, hope some of the book recommendations will be helpful to you.